Hey, 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 you beautiful twin flames, and welcome back to Tarot for You 444. Can you see who's here with me? <laughs> it's King Ken, and King Ken is here to give you and spill the tea with me <laughs> about your divine masculine. The only trouble is I still haven't been able to get him any pants. So right now he is being highly inappropriate, which is why he's only showing his top half. <laughs> he's been cold for months and um, it's kind of funny, I won't lie. <laughs> It kind of makes me giggle that he hasn't got any pants. But Barbara Barbie, she also hasn't got any pants. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I tried to I tried to borrow and swap pants. <laughs> but um, Barbara Barbie has got thicker thighs than Ken. So it, it didn't work out. And now I can't get anything back on either of them. So... Ken is in a perpetual state of being pantless. <laughs> Maybe that's a synchronicity for some of you on the Twin Flame journey. Maybe your Divine Masculine is in a state of being pantless in some kind of way, shape or form. Take it how it resonates for you. Ah, oh, wow, oh wow. So what I want to do is just... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Spirit saying, hurry up, hurry up. All right, all right, all right, all right. Just quickly, I want to flick in, flip in, turn the channel on, see how the divine feminine's going because I don't want to always make it about the divine masculine. So let's just do a quick check in with her. Take Jen to how it resonates, of course, of course, of course. And should we sing a Christmas song while I'm shuffling? Hmm. I don't know. Which Christmas song should we sing? What about just a general one? Like, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring <laughs> to you and your King. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I feel like going hip hip hooray, but that's at the end of a birthday song. Wow, so I'm getting a lot of loneliness with the Divine Feminine. For some of you, it's not loneliness, it's solitude. You know, I'm taking time. I'm taking some time to just be with God. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> some of you don't have any faith, which is why my throat chakra is coming across. You know, some of you think that you have the key to unlock your divine masculine. You know, if only I just... I don't know, send him flowers or if only I just, <clears throat> wow, act a little more childlike or if only I just um, pretend to be, pretend to be intelligent. That is what I'm getting. You know, if only I do X, Y, Z in the physical, then my divine masculine will come to me. But for some of you, you have this feeling of, grief you know this feeling of you know I'm always going to be alone without my masculine I'm always going to be trying to choose which path to go on alone okay so this perspective of being alone is a really interesting one divine feminine because you can take it as if you're alone or you can see the majesty in it. So if, if we look at this tree here, this beautiful majestic tree, it has everything it needs. It has the sunshine, it has a water source and it has, you know, obviously um, it has carbon dioxide as well, right? So it has everything it needs to live and thrive and so do you. 
And when you let go of outcome with regard to your masculine, <laughs> aka Ken, I feel like you should be looking your way. There we go. When you let go of outcome, you can actually see the beauty in your life, even without your masculine. <clears throat> wow. Many of you have a good life already. Many of you have a great job or a great house or a great, you know, you enjoy great food or you have, you know what I mean? You've got a lot, lot of things to be grateful for, but the only thing missing is your masculine. So that's where... That's where the bitterness is coming from. So Spirit are asking you today to cherish what you do have. Cherish the people in your life that are showing up for you. And perhaps, you know, in the new year, it's time to get rid of people who no longer serve your purpose or, um, you know, who are toxic in some kind of way. You know, imagine being this tree here, just say as the divine feminine you are this tree and you're hanging around with people or in situations that are toxic let's say that you know those people and situations are the lake this tree would eventually become poisoned so you don't want to do that you want to hang around with and spend time with people who are right for you in employment situations that are right for you in a locality that's right for you and that's what's coming for the new year so we're going to get the tea on the divine masculine and see what's happening with him because uh, <coughs> wow some of them haven't been well Nothing major, but, you know, like a cold or a flu or a perhaps stress even. This time of the year can bring a lot of stress with Christmas. And for many people, it's been difficult because of the, you know, whole economic world situation. Okay. I'm not going to talk about the pandemic. <laughs> and I am. Um, I might make some of you angry if I do that, so I won't. Uh, okay, so let's delve into him now. I'm going to use two decks to, to check in with the Divine Masculine. I will tell you, though, while I'm getting these cards for the Masculine, if something doesn't feel right to you or something doesn't sit right to you, including with the whole world situation, <clears throat> you are allowed to question it. You are allowed to question it. Why? Because that's what we're designed to do. As humans, we are allowed to have an opinion on it. <clears throat> and I'll just give you a quick little scenario just for fun that if you go to a restaurant <laughs> and you are wearing a mask to walk into the restaurant but yet when you sit down with 20 friends you're allowed to take your mask off and eat your dinner is that a red flag is that a strange thing and if you are being tracked no matter where you go is that also not a red flag for you that's all I'm gonna say alrighty let's come back to the masculine he is he's kind of being positive He's kind of got this wish going on about some money stuff. All right. He's, he's looking to the future. Just like Ken. He's looking to the future. <clears throat> My throat chakra is absolutely going crazy today. I feel like many of you, if you've been hearing from your masculine, he has something to tell you 
And if you haven't been hearing from him, obviously he has something to tell you because he hasn't been speaking to you. But there's something, there's something he understands about you. It's this feeling of, (coughs) wow, wow, oh wow. Without the feminine, without the feminine, I don't have everything. So, you know, I can have the cars and the clothes and the shoes and the stuff, but without the feminine, I'm lacking. And he's got this understanding especially around Christmas time when he's going to perhaps spend time with people that he doesn't necessarily want to spend time with. With people he doesn't necessarily want to spend time with. Okay, so there's this song coming through now. There was love all around But I never heard it singing No, I never heard it at all till there was you. There was something all around, but I never heard it somethinging. No, I never heard it at all till there was you. And then the chorus says, And there was roses and wonderful, I think it was, hang on. And there was music and wonderful roses, they tell me, and sweet, precious something, 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 right? But the main gist of the song is, there was love all around. And I never heard it singing, no, I never heard it at all, till there was you, right? So he's noticing the weirdness in the world. Even about the world situation, there's questions he's got. Well, how come, you know, how come when I go into a restaurant, I have to wear a mask and yet when I sit down with my 20 friends, I can take it off and we can breathe all over each other. Something's not right here. I'm questioning the world. (laughs) And if I was the president or the prime minister or whatever, wherever he lives, you know, I would make things a little bit different here. There's something not right. He's questioning it. And he knows that you are the real deal. He realizes that you are what he's missing. See the engagement ring? The engagement ring is upside down. The hanged man is also in the reverse. I want to come out of this hiding space. I want to come out of this weirdness. I think you would be someone I could talk to about this whole thing. Because I've got a lot of questions and here he has the book, you know. I'm trying to work it all out. You know, I'm not trying to bring the world situation into this and I usually say I'm not going to talk about it, but this is what he's thinking about. He's like, you know, hang on a minute. People have lost their jobs, their livelihoods. People have committed suicide. People have been forced to do things with their body, to their body. And that's not okay with me. And if it is okay with your masculine, if he's on the whole train of, you know, it is okay and we should, you know, all be jabbed or whatever. He's still questioning it, going, well, you know, this doesn't really make sense. Even though maybe he got the jab or even though he did those things, he doesn't really get it. He's kind of like, hmm. Okay, so he's looking around on Facebook or on social media or somewhere and he's finding things that don't make sense and he's thinking about it. It's kind of like when you watch The Matrix and you kind of go, Oh, there's so many hidden agendas and hidden meanings in this movie. Wow, 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 wow. And he comes back to 
thinking about the feminine and realizes that, wow, there's something about the feminine that's different. There's something that, there's some kind of knowledge that she has. And to me, this card, this Game of Thrones card really looks like the empathic nature of the feminine. If those wands were antenna, you know, to spirit or to intuition, he gets it now. He goes, you know what? I think the divine feminine knows way, way more. He's questioning what he's seeing on the news. He's questioning what he's seeing in reality. There's some kind of deception here that I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I'm being deceived. Okay. Something doesn't make sense. And because the divine masculine is logical, he's realizing that something doesn't make sense. There's wisdom to be had when we think about it. You know, I'm an autonomous being. You know, I don't want to be the same as every Ken doll. You know, I don't want to be in this category of I get up, I go to work, I sleep, I do as I'm told. <clears throat> wow, strong energy. I get up, I go to work, I sleep, I do as I'm told. He's starting to see there's wisdom in knowing more. There's wisdom in questioning things. Huge, huge energy coming through here. You know, something's not right in the world. There's this level of toxicity that he's understanding that's, you know, we're living in fear here. There's some kind of ruse going on. Some of them won't awaken to this for another six months or so or six, even six years. But it's niggling at them. You know, he's like, <clears throat> wow, my throat chakra. I'm so sorry, but wow. It's all a bit cuckoo, you know. It's all a bit, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie. I haven't seen it, but apparently it's really weird. Clockwork, a clockwork orange or something like that. It's all a bit kooky. It's all a bit strange. And he, he kind of doesn't know who to talk to about it because, you know, if you talk to people about it and you've got some kind of theory, then you're, you know, hashtag a conspiracy theorist. Or you're a dickhead because, you know, uh, your actions might cause the death of others. Especially if you breathe on people in the restaurant while standing up. As long as you sit down... <laughs> As long as you sit down and take your mask off to eat, everyone will be fine. You know what I mean? He's starting to see this weirdness going on. Hang on a minute. Something's not quite right here. And only the feminine will understand what I have to say. So he's questioning everything now. Mostly with regard to the world situation. And he's starting to see something's not quite right. I just dropped cards. Hang on. I'm going to try and get down there. How am I going to get down there? Hang on a minute. Hang Just one minute. Ken, Ken will keep you company. <laughs> wow. Whew. Okay, that was a long way down. So he's noticing the difference in the feminine, you know. There was love all around, but I never saw it ringing. <laughs> no, I never saw it at all till there was you. So he's got a message for you now. <clears throat> My throat chakra. It'll go away once I get the message out. It'll stop being silly. 
I think we should call him Kenneth. Kenneth the King. He's questioning why someone can't get his pants on. <laughs> Speaking of Ken with no pants on, maybe we should try and take his shirt off. Oh my God. You know what? Sorry, Ken, but you do. You can have no shirt on. Look. <laughs> Look at this. There we go. He wants to get a tan, even though there's no sunshine in this room. But, you know, just for the purposes of this video, he wants to get a tan. <laughs> he looks just like this guy. So see how, even though this guy looks really sexy and passionate in the card, he's thinking. He has clarity of thought and he understands that his life isn't a gamble. He doesn't want to gamble with his life anymore. And he knows that the feminine has answers to give him. And he wants to, he wants to entertain that idea that if I speak to the feminine, maybe she'll at least support me or understand me or have some clarity on what on earth is going on. Because I want to live this way. I want to live in heaven on earth. I want people to be free. And he wants to communicate this to you through me today. Or he will communicate it in the fifth, you know, fifth dimensional consciousness through telepathy. And I want you to understand that his love for you is, I don't know, whether you're religious or not doesn't, make, doesn't matter. But if you go into a church of any denomination and you smell the flowers in there or the, the purity in there or the incense that they burn or whatever it is, that's how he sees you, you know. My divine feminine is sacred. My divine feminine is loyal. My divine feminine has a lot of knowledge and maybe she can help me get out of this confusion. You see the doves up there? She brings me peace. She warms my heart. She is the sun. She connects me to goodness. <laughs> she lets me get a suntan even though there's no sunshine in the room. I mean, there's a little bit ready. <laughs> Maybe he needs some tattoos. I don't know. So divine masculine, let's just do three more cards. So she warms me. She, you know, uh, she is my peace. She is my home. My groundedness. She is, wow, <laughs> also topless. <laughs> Ken, Ken's going, hello, <laughs> hello, Barbara Barbie's out of town right now. And we're actually on a break. <laughs> What's your name? This is Delilah. <laughs> Ken. Right. <laughs> Hang on a minute. We'll just do that. There we go. <laughs> Who knew Ken could do that? He's very clever. <laughs> Delilah's going, nah, 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 you can't have me. She's also sunbathing inside of her home. <laughs> so the feminine is beautiful. The feminine is my, the love of my life, right? But he's coming. It, it's it's a slow realization for some, and some of them already know this and are coming to you. Don't be surprised over Christmas if nothing much happens, though. Christmas is a really busy time this year, you know, astrologically as well as you know because people celebrate bright Christmas. But just know you are their compass. Your soul is their soul. Okay. You are their true north. 
<laughs> I feel like he's going to get a sore neck. I don't know. What song are we going to sing today? <clears throat> wow. That's not going to hurt my throat chakra. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like Ken wants to sing a song. It'd have to be a song... Ooh, yeah. A bad a, a bad boy song. It's not a bad boy song. It's a... What is it? Um... You know, like one of those bands, a, a boy band, a boy band. Okay. Um, okay. And I swear by the moon and the stars in the sky, I'll be there for better or worse till death do us part. I love you with every beat of my heart And I swear Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, he's doing a thumbs up <laughs> And I swear <laughs> Because mom told me I'm allowed to swear sometimes I'll be there <laughs> For better or worse, till death do us part. I love you with every beat of my heart, and I swear. There, that's a good ending. Wow. One arm is longer than the other. Ken, you've got issues, bro. Oh no, they're the same. Okay. All right. So he's doing a T pose just for you at the end of the video. <laughs> I can't help it. Whoa, whoa. Okay, dude, we're really off balance. Arms and off balanceness. So anyway, Ken, Ken is really happy that you're here with us. Just remember, over Christmas, enjoy the people who you are spending time with. And if you're not spending time with anyone, you can spend time with me because I'll try and get a video out each day. It'll either be each day or each, every second day, depending on, depending on how crazy I feel for the day. <laughs> Let's sing Joyful Joyful before we go. We better put his top back on so he doesn't get a cold. Okay. There's actually Velcro there. That's kind of cool, isn't it? We'll put his arms. Oops. <laughs> My... Sorry, Ken. All right. Let's put him back. All right. Ready? Everyone will do joyful, joyful before we go. Let's have a happy day no matter what. Okay? Joyful, joyful, Lord, we adore you. God of glory, God of light. Hearts unfold like flowers before him. By the way, what have you done for him lately? Ooh, 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 ooh yeah. <laughs> Ken, what have you done for him lately? Ooh, 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 ooh yeah. <laughs> joyful, joyful, Lord, we adore you. God of glory, God of light. Hearts unfold like flowers before him. By the way, what have you done for him lately? <laughs> ooh, 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 yeah. Wow. He's, oh, he fell. Whoops. Okay, he, I think he hit his head, but it's okay because he needed to have a break. Um, no toys were harmed in the making of this YouTube video. I love you all so much. Remember just to stay balanced, okay? If you can't stay anything at all, just stay balanced and try and always look on the bright side of life. If you haven't seen Monty Python videos or DVDs, <laughs> does anyone watch videos anymore? You know what I mean. If you haven't seen Monty Python, go and watch them. Have a laugh or watch something funny if you're feeling bitter about the journey, okay? That's how you keep going. The way to keep going is sometimes through a little bit of laughter or you could just walk around the house and take your pants off. <laughs> He's got no crack in his bottom. 
<laughs> I guess when you're a toy, you don't need to have a crack in your bottom. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> See, he's contemplating now. He's contemplating his next move on the twin flame journey. <laughs> have a beautiful, <clears throat> wow, your divine masculine wants to talk to you. If you're watching this today, he really, really, really has a lot to say. Have a beautiful day, night, afternoon, evening or morning wherever you are in the world. And don't forget, I've got 10% off of all of my services until the 25th. There's only three days to go. Get in contact with me if you need me. Um, all my services and everything are down below in the description box. I love you mwah, mwah, all so much. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye, everyone. Bye.